Hi, this is Andy from Rookie Investor, and in this video, we'll go over the TradingView platform. Charts are one of the most important features that TradingView provides, and we will be focusing on them. First, allow me to say that you can customize the platform in this section. You can adjust the window as you may see fit just by clicking and scrolling the edges. The time frame is set to one candle per day, but you can change that. You have the option to go from one second to one month, as well as you can change the candlestick format. You will be given 14 choices to select from, such as bars, columns, Renko, Kagi, and so on. I will keep using the candlestick as it is the most familiar way to read the chart. You can also make changes to the colors of the chart, right click inside, click settings, or use the gear icon on the top right side, and from there you can make further adjustments to the colors, the status line, appearances, and in general the characteristics of your chart. TradingView provides a great list of indicators. Clicking on the Indicators toolbar, you can add the ones you find useful such as scripts, technicals, or financials. For example, let's add the 24 hours volume. Just click on it and it will be added. If you want to remove it, click the X button on the top of the indicator and it will be removed from your chart. I will add the 24 hour volume back and adjust the bottom half. I will proceed by making it a bit smaller. Also, I prefer to change the color, so I will double click on it. Pick dark gray as I like it more. To save your current chart preferences, right click on the chart, settings, template, save as, and pick a name. Now for every chart I will open, the 24 hour volume and my current settings will be there. Let's open Apple chart for example. Double click on it, and there we have it. In general, if you create a chart setup that works best for you, make sure you save the template. It is important you have the indicators and settings you prefer. Next on the toolbar, you have some default indicators such as Bill Williams 3 line, displaced EMA, and so on. To add one, just click on it and it will be applied on the chart. As you can see, I added Bill Williams 3 lines. To delete the indicator, go to the top right side of the chart and click the X button next to it. Adding the indicator caused the 24 hours volume to be lost. This has probably happened because this is a newly added future. Let's add it once more. The next step will be to add an alert. Pick the stock, the condition, the value, the expiration time, and the alert action. Give it a name if you wish and click create. Now the alert that we set will be triggered if the price crosses that specific point we added. If that happens, we will get an alert. As you may recall from earlier, you can check the alerts you have placed on your alert section on the side toolbar by clicking the clock icon. There we can find the Tesla alert that we just set up. You can add multiple alerts in the same stock or any other stock or ticker you wish to follow. The replay option provided by TradingView is very interesting and useful if you wish and you want to dedicate time to learn the charts. I find it extremely useful when trading Forex. There is literally nothing better to practice on. Basically, once on the chart click replay and then pick a specific point in the chart. This will take you back to that point and erase all the days or months ahead of it, so it will be like it never happened. Based on the point we clicked on, we're back on May of 2021, and we have no idea what will happen next. Clicking on the play button, you will see how the following days played out, and if there has been some news of importance for the stock or the market in general, you will be able to see how the stock reacted and why it moved the way it did. You can practice strategies, indicators, and anything that you might think that will help you understand why the stock behaved the way it did. It is a very useful tool and some traders really use it a lot. To exit replay, click replay once more and agree to stop it. On the right side toolbar, you have a plethora of tools such as lines, Fibonacci tools, you can add text, add faces, zoom in and out and so on. By the way, here is the alert that we have set up earlier. It shows up in the form of a pop-up in the middle of our chart and you also get a notification on the alert icon on the right toolbar. It is quite known that many traders like to watch multiple charts at the same time. This is doable with TradingView, however it heavily depends on the plan you have enrolled on. Basically any plan other than the basic allows you to add more charts by clicking the square icon. The pro plan we enrolled allows us to use two charts. If you have pro plus or premium you can add 4 and 8 respectively. Anyway, we will proceed with the two. I will pick Apple as the second ticker and now we have one chart for Apple and one chart for Tesla. If you want to go back to one, click the square icon which is now split into two and select the first option. To note here that if you want to scroll back on the chart, you can do so by clicking and holding the click button inside the chart 
and scroll so you can get a better view of it. This helps when you want to draw strategies, so it's a good tip to know. Moving forward, you can easily take screenshot of the chart or charts you're using by clicking the camera button on the top right side. You have the option to save the chart image, copy it and get a link to the image of the chart. When you visit it, open it in a new tab or post it on Twitter. I will take a snapshot of this chart. There it is. I can send this to other traders and share my thoughts and ideas in a very fast and efficient way. Now that you are familiar with the trading view chart page, how to navigate and use its tools, let's check how to search for additional tickers. On the beginning of the top bar, click the inside of the ticker. On the pop-up window that will appear, you can search for any ticker that trades. It could be a stock, future, in dice, commodity, currency, crypto, bond, anything. For example, we will search for Microsoft. I will enter the word and click. There it is. Another very useful feature is the Compare Chart tool. To use this, click the plus icon next to the symbol. On the pop-up window, you will get indexes such as S&P 500, Dow Jones, Nasdaq, and others. You can pick any of them to compare to the stock or ticker you are already checking on. For example, we will compare Microsoft to the Dow Jones Industrial Average. As you can see, Microsoft and Dow Jones follow a similar pattern, as Microsoft is one of the biggest companies in the world and the stock affects the market greatly. If you compare Netflix to Dow Jones though, you will not see so many similarities as Microsoft, as Netflix had quite a few bad quarters which created a massive gap into its stock. Since May though, we can see a quite a similar pattern. It is a good idea when you are thinking to buy a stock to compare it to similar stocks and how they perform, or even better, compare it to the stock of its sector. If for example the tech sector over time increased by 50% overall, and Apple did a 100% increase, it is clear that Apple is outperforming its sector thus the company is doing quite well. Another major part of the platform is the watch list that we touched base earlier. Here you can customize the symbols that appear and obviously you want to add the symbols you follow. I mean, that is what I and majority of traders do. So how do we do that? Well, in order to add a symbol, click the plus button on the top of the watch list and search the ticker you want to add. We will add Microsoft for example. Keep in mind that it is not an indice, so either click stocks or better click all and then search Microsoft. You may notice that there are more tickers with the same name, however always focus on the market they trade on. In this case, we want Microsoft trading on Nasdaq. Now, as you probably can see, Microsoft was placed in the crypto section of our watch list, probably because I clicked there by accident. You can edit the categories to your liking or delete them entirely as they get too much space. So to move Microsoft to stocks, click on it, hold it and scroll it all the way to the stocks. To delete any unwanted tickers, scroll over them and you will see the X button next to them. Feel free to click it. The same applies for the categories which I will delete as well. That gives more space to add more tickers. I hope that this video really helped you familiarize yourself with TradingView. If it did, please hit the like button and if you're interested in more content about investing, make sure you subscribe.